Hello, and welcome back, or welcome to the War Grand Empress. Uh, the the, uh, the Time Traveling Survival. Uh, so, uh, this game is... So, I played a little bit yesterday, uh, and we, we played, like, the first 40 minutes of the game. Uh, I was I was blown away by it, and stuff like that. I want to preface uh, that on my next statements with, I'm not here to take a crap on this game. Um, but... There are some things that I think are very important that people know and that are, it, it, it's important, okay? Uh, and, and I want people to pick be, be informed of the of stuff. All right, so this is the game. Uh, obviously, since uh, the first 40 minutes and now, I've, I've made a little bit of progress. Um, I've, I've got a house. Uh, I've got... You know, this guy over here, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I've gotten up to iron. If I, uh, oh, I think I, I think I killed my boat. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we, we're going to go run around. Now, I'm overweight, so I can't sprint, right? So, these, the messages at the bottom, like that one where, where I'm overweight, I can't sprint. Like, some of these things just show up ridiculously just too much. Um, it, it's sometimes it, it, it gets, it gets a bit much, uh, I, I get iron stuff already. So, um, another thing, do I, do I have my, do I have, I do. So, uh, this is the iron, uh, and for now, I, I think I've just opened the thing that allows me to automate this to make it a little bit easier. Um, uh, but I've had to make. Oh, I don't know, twenty or thirty iron so far, and this is this is this is how you do it. You put a log in, you put a log in, you put iron in, then you walk over here, you hit a bellow, and then I wait for it to fire. And then it says E to pour water skin, right? But you can't. It doesn't. It doesn't work, right? So what you have to do is you have to go into your inventory. You have to get your water skin that's filled. Then you have to select it, and then you can left click to pour it. Then you can do that. Then log in, log in, iron in over here. Wait for this to go again. <laughs> so this is an extremely, extremely tedious process. Um, and uh. It, it, it just it takes it takes a long time, right? Just to just to uh, to power all this stuff, and then once you do all that stuff, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll, uh, we'll pour the water skin on it. Take that one, right? Then you gotta walk over to the water. You have to go like this. You have to fill the water skins back up. Then you gotta go back over here and do it all over again. All right, easy enough. Like I said, there, there is a way to automate that eventually. Uh, it. it that in and of itself brings its own problems. Um, so uh, we're going to go here. Uh, then, then I need, I need leather, right? Okay. So leather. So this is, this is our, le our leather ability, right? So I need, oh, one salt dinosaur leather. That doesn't take too long or it doesn't seem too difficult. So let's run over here. So, uh, salty dinosaur leather, right? Uh, I need two dinosaur hides and four salt. Okay. Well, in order to get salt, I got to go jump in the water and drive all the way down in the boat, all the way to the freaking ocean, which is actually a ways away. And then the boat, um, the boat is its own issue. Um, that's the dune's boat. I want a river boat. Uh, I need 30 planks. Let me get a couple of logs here real quick. So we can run over here. We'll do some logs, right? Um, so the game is a bit tedious. Uh, it, it it's a survival game, and and as a survival game, I I I don't mind that, right? You know, it, it takes a little bit to get stuff survival, and as survival games go, okay, that was good. Two trees. Uh, as survival games go, it's not bad. Like it's not the worst one I've seen. 
Um, the graphics are, are good. Uh, and then there's some, some, there's some weirdness and jink we'll get into here in a second. Uh, so we'll go do all that. So we, we'll get some logs. We'll go over here. I'm going to build us a boat real quick. And then I'm going to show you the other boat. Uh, right. So now I do that. I have to hit E twice and then I have to left click twice. And it's just this weird rhythm that you have to get into. And I end up doing that a lot. So you have to, it, it's this weird, weird thing where you have to really pay attention to it and hit E twice and then do that twice. It, it's, it's complicated, right? Uh, so then we can, we can build a boat. Actually, you know what? Let's go. I'm going to, I'm going to cheese this a little bit. Uh, let's go, let's go back to the colonial era. And then you have to hold right click, go to hover over the one you want and then left click to do it. Uh, it, it there, there's just little things that are just, I, I think what it is, is, uh, the dev and the people that play with, or maybe that had, he had tested, um, are very, uh, particular and want a certain thing set of skills and this game seems to want to be like a dark souls type game um i i don't know and then so do i not have enough i have enough planks oh i just can't can i not place that here why is it red Uh, why, why can't, why, why can't I place the boat here? Don't tell me I can't place. Why? I have all the planks. Oh, don't tell me I can't place the stuff from there here. Okay, no I can't. Why can't I place the boat? All right. Um, so then here I have wheat. Uh, it's all grown right now because I need to change my people. So I'm gonna uh, change this guy. I'm gonna change you. I'm gonna change your job. I'm gonna tell you to go over here. Right. And then basically he's going to go harvest that stuff and basically replant it. Uh, oh, that one was a girl yesterday. That's weird. So then this one, baking campfire, I'm going to change you to do this one. Uh, so what will happen is he'll bring wheat in, and once he gets, the first guy gets the wheat in, the second one's going to grab it. He's going to come back in here, and he's going to do that, right? Uh, the problem is, is whatever the job is, is like I have these other ones here, right? And that's still a planting job, but it's one or the other. He can't do both. So this guy is literally going to stand there and just not do anything until that right it would be better if i could be like hey i want you to do this stuff and then once you're done with that i want you to go do you know this right like so i should be able to give multiple jobs or priorities uh that we can't do that uh so basically this guy's just going to stand there until the wheat's grown and then he'll do some other stuff i do have this thing over here uh this allows me to grab like uh if i had logs in here right so they have to work in here and they only cook their one thing they won't cook the, the, the raw animal meat uh that's useless to them uh so they'll eat berries and they'll eat bread um and then if i put these logs in here well, why do they stack to 100 okay they only stack to 100 somehow i stacked it to 103 oh weird um so uh 
it's it's a great idea and and that's really the the tell of this game is it's a great idea that has some execution that that I'm not a super fan of um and I, I know some people really enjoy the game and I I enjoy it I'm gonna push through I, I'm gonna keep keep trying to go on um the uh as far as as the playthrough I don't know if I'm gonna do a playthrough uh completely of it I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of just check in from time to time and let you know how it's going um and just just kind of update people because I I want I want this game to succeed I really do uh but here's and this I can't show you these fights because I've already beat them but this is the this is so weird <laughs> so uh, once you leave the primitive error, you basically get get shucked into this area. This place needs fixing. Um, uh, right now, you can't really see it, but what happens is uh, you hear them. I hear them. Let me jump in the boat here. So this thing, if you get into this boat, uh, so you see the sandworm spawning, right? So if you get into the boat, you have to hold shift to make this boat move, right? And then the thing moves at ridiculous speeds. The issue is, is that the, the hit boxes, and that's really the combat in this game is super jank um, and really difficult. And you see, like, you see how far away the thing was and it still hit me. Like, it still, it still hit me because you heard the dunk dunk. And that's, anytime you get hit, you hear a dunk dunk. And it, like, launches you into the air and it does weird things right and the the hit boxes for these things the 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 range that they can hit you from is so wide um it, it's it's just like it's almost impossible to oh, and then that happens so and then right so that's the problem here. Oh, and you need 250 logs for to to even be able to get this boat. And then in order to get out of it, like I have to hit E to get out of it. But I had had to hit E to get rid of that sprint menu, right? And it keeps coming back up, right? So then we then we go in here. So I, I don't understand what the the reason for the sandworms on that level are. Because you, you basically spawn into it. It doesn't tell you to take logs with you. So you can't build build it. Uh, they're spawning sandworms around you the whole time. You're overweight because you have 250 logs on you. Uh, you're trying to build the, the boat. Then you get in the boat and you don't realize that you need to sprint to hold it. And it moves at like sand crab speeds. Then you spawn into this place. Um, and then if, if you paid real close of a, attention, it was, this is basically, uh, you, you've gone back in time, right? So, uh, before the sandworms were here, uh, and you, you have all this stuff. So then you just kind of run straight through here. You just, you literally run straight to the end. So this part, it. It seems like it was just like I, I don't know why this is here. Like honestly, it would have been better if this would have been a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, a couple of rooms, you know, other items to be here so that we could, you know, maybe gather some I, like the, the blue crystals, the blue crystals I got from the very beginning. I don't know what those are for, um, but I I have one of them still, right? And then you're gonna come back in, you're gonna pick this guy up, right? So then you go from the from Egypt, you jump forward. And then you spawn in this. So you come up here and you're in a Roman Colosseum. I and then uh like they're not there right now, but when you first come up here, there's like it's like 10 or 12, like, Roman gladiators or Roman uh, centurions. And they got these big, you know, smack you into next week's swords. And they have master swings. And they just all, and they all 
clump up together and just like run up and then they just start swinging at different times and it, it's it's a pain it is it it's difficult right and you're like okay well so i've got them done the purple thing's back there's nothing to pick up here i didn't get one of their swords like i i should have gotten one of their swords or something like that that seemed like the to be a smart thing i don't know maybe i got the uh, a uh you know, a way to do it or something. Maybe, maybe I, I haven't checked my anvil to see if I have the ability to do it. And then, then you get here. It's like you get this warning that says this area especially requires good use of the dash ability. Be sure. So, this is Dark Souls. Like uh, China uh, relic obtained. Check the check tree, right? So I've already got the relic. So you go end up running around in this freaking place and get lost. And supposedly there's some way to follow the path to find the guy. Um, but I, I was confused and just ran around for forever and maybe this is it. Maybe I, I found it this time. Yeah. Uh, that's maybe it. I don't know, but it's like this, then, then this is a stupid maze, right? So you, you run around and you, you're trying to find, uh, there's some guy in here. Um, but when you're playing at normal difficulty, you hit him like freaking three or four times with your spear and it barely moves his health bar. It, it, it's a boss battle. Like no, no doubt about it. It is a boss battle. He hits you twice and you're dead at normal difficulty. Um, at, uh, if you change it to very e easy, which, which I did because I was just trying to play the, to, to get through some of the content and, and see what the game involved. Um, if you get to, uh, go to very easy he can hit you three times before he kills you and he's he's in here so if you're and, and there's no way like i can't even show you like I, the beginning of it right like i don't know if there's a way that like if, if that's just like these weird dragon head things or alligator things or something um i i don't know but that's that's what you're looking for is this this little entrance right here no, because it, uh, yeah, it's like the same, the same head things, everything. So there's no way to tell. It's just this is the place you need to find. Uh, so you're you're gonna find this place here, and once you get in here, he'll be in here, and he's he's a jerk. Like I had to basically go to to cheesy mode and be able to beat him. Uh, so I I it, it was bad. I I. I was getting really frustrated with it. And granted, I'm not a Dark Souls player. Uh, I, I don't enjoy that type of game. And it's on me. Uh, if that's what the game wants to be, that's what the game wants to be. And I'm fine with that. Uh, but I do not enjoy that combat. So uh, I just dropped it to, to easy and uh, was able to beat it. So once that happens, then you get the relic. Uh, you have to go back to the Primitive Error. And, and I understand the game mechanic is kind of to get me to, to bounce back and forth and to, to bounce between time zones and bounce between uh, different errors and stuff like that. And and that's kind of the, the, the pull of the game. And if, if you want to play the game for that, like if you like that aspect of it, it's cool. But there's some there's some there's some weirdness. Right. And, and I want to be I want to be completely fair. Do I recommend the game still? It's hard. It's, it, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, I can't, in, in good faith with the way some of the combat works, I don't know if I could actually recommend it. Um, and with some of the, uh, I have a bunch of berries. Why didn't you just pull more berries from my inventory when I ran out of the berries on my bar? Um, so it's it, the, the game is trying very hard to to be a lot of things uh and so eat a cook raw meat log required like it doesn't tell me i need to put a log on there like nowhere did it, did it, did it ever say e to put a log on here
right? So am I having to add a log for each freaking piece of meat that I'm cooking to? And it just doesn't tell me that? I think so. I think each piece of meat you put on there takes a log also. Uh, and it doesn't tell you that. So um, the houses are prefabs. Uh, it, it is definitely, it's a great idea. It's a great uh, thing. Oh, and then I don't know if that, I don't know if it's coming through, but there's that texture thing on my ax that's causing it to, to, to wiggle, uh, which, which gets really annoying. Uh, let's see, oh, let's go back to how heavy are we? I'm, I'm getting so close to being full. Let me put some more stuff away. Uh, what else can I, uh, let me put the iron away. Uh, I really need to get some food. Is my problem. For for the next step of this adventure. And then, like, the, the bears and stuff like that. Like, it may be better now. Like, and, and I get... I get that the game's trying to, uh, it, it's it's trying to make like a harder core survival game and stuff like that, and and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, and we can we can lower it to, you can lower the the difficulty. I started on normal because I usually try to start on normal because I think most people try to start on normal. Um, but like it, it's 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 a bit. Uh, <laughs> the rectors are. God, they're horrible. Um, all right, so we're back here uh, in in dinosaur land, right? So now the issue is, is I need to come back here to dinosaur land to get leather. I don't get leather from the wolves or any of the other animals that that we hunt. I have I can only get leather from dinosaurs. I can only use dinosaur leather. Okay. And the only place for me to get dinosaur leather is in dinosaur times. I got woolly mammoths. They don't give me leather. Um, I searched and searched and searched in the colonial level for probably about an hour yesterday. Uh, trying to find... Uh, oh, as a T-Rex. I don't want to deal with him. No, sir. Not until I get a tank or a bazooka. When I have a tinker bazooka, maybe, sir, maybe maybe we'll come back and we'll talk with a T-Rex. That guy is a jerk. Right? So, and you'll see, like, he hits me and he knocks me back. So there's this weird physics thing going, and then as soon as they get low, they decide to run from me. And it's a pain in my flipping butt. And then, you notice, I get dinosaur leather, I got no dinosaur meat. So instead of getting both resources, I either have to I have to choose to either get look T-Rex guy. And then and then and don't throw meat at the Triceratops to get mad at you. They seem to be pretty tame and pretty okay until uh until you hit you throw something at them. And then they get mad. But if I want meat. Um, then I have to, uh, I have to hit it with a rock. If I want leather, then I hit it with an axe. Right? And then you see that, you hear that, like, the, the combat, it, it is this janky freaking, meh, 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 and it kind of, and it kicks you back. And I've had a lot of times where, especially, like, if I'm going over a rock or something like that, it will, uh, they, they'll, physics takes over, and there was one point that I got launched, like, straight up in the air, uh, and, got, and basically took, died from falling damage. Um, so, alright, so, I killed two dinosaurs, and I got eight, or, uh, I had a couple on here, I think, so I have 20, 20 leather now, right? You're like, oh, okay, I got 20 leather. Uh, let's see, let me go back to six. Right click. Uh, we'll go back to primitive error. And like, okay, I killed two dinosaurs. That's good. 
So then we're going to go over here. We're going to go to, uh, there it is right there. We'll go to this guy here or access our crafting. We're going to do this. We're going to go this. So this takes two dinosaur hides and four salt. Okay. And, oh, and a filled water skin. Don't, don't forget the filled water skin. Come back over here, fill this this bad boy back up. Right? And then Oh no, now I'm out of salt. Now I need to make a boat, go back out to the ocean and go get salt. Right? And then I go over here to this guy. I access crafting. But this takes <laughs> Oh no, okay. So <laughs> so it still basically takes four 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 of these and eight salt all right so four leather here and eight salt to make one of these um so and then now uh, once i get those built and get them out of the get them out of the, the inventory because it this this will run without you having to stare at it uh so we'll take all those items right and then i'll go back to back to my time travel device go back to the colonial era so there, there's a lot of, of, of working and trying to get things done and trying to get it to, to do right uh, and things like that. So it, the, the game is fidgety. It is, it is, it is you know, it, it is what it is, right? So then I get in here, I go here, I'll go back to colonial era and I want to build uh, so a water wheel. I need four iron ingots for an iron, and then this iron furnace is special, right? You notice this one's got a little thing on it to connect to the iron wheel. Well, I built this furnace. There's there's no way to take it down. There's no way to move it. Like I I, I don't I don't know if there's a way to I, I I haven't found a way to move it yet. Maybe there is a way. Um. Like so, once things are kind of placed, they're there forever. Uh, it gives you that warning when you place your colonial flag. It, it you're done. You you ha that's that's where this thing is now. Uh, there's there's no way around it. Um, and all of this stuff takes iron, right? So everything you look at here, right? Uh, let me go back here to the colonial. Uh, so, oh, wrong one. I was in the right one. So the advanced houses. I don't know. The advanced houses basically, I guess, just allow you to put beds in. So, but here, dinosaur leather, I need dinosaur leather to put, to build beds. I need beds to make more dudes, right? So the more dudes I have, the more beds I need. So the more dinosaur leather I need, right? Well, then when I do that, then to build their stations, then I'm going to need more, more iron. But I can't seem, I went all the way, all the way up there, all the way along that mountain range, all the way over there, and then come back and come back from over this direction. I didn't find any iron on this map. I had to go back to the primitive era to get iron and then bring it back here. <laughs> and then even, uh, so and you're like, hey, congratulations. Oh, look, change job. Um, now I'm gonna, I want you to do that. Uh, now, uh, they're both females. So, uh, as you leave and come back, it like I I don't I don't think this area progresses as we leave and come back. Maybe it does. Um, and then so you're like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna help my colonists out, right? I'm gonna go over here and make. Oh no, I can't do anything. I can't use this. This thing is useless to me. Like I can't I can't put wood on there. I can't. I don't think I can help chop it. I don't, I can't help, I can't help harvest. I can't grind things. There's no, there's nothing I can do with these things, right? Like, even if I hold E, just assign the closest person to it. That's all I can do. Like, I can't do anything with it. Like, I can't, I can't help chop it. I can't, there's, there's no interaction I can have with these materials. So I would have to have my own set of things over here to run with. And then their set of stuff to automate. So I don't know. Um, I'm gonna keep kind of 
kind of off stream. Maybe I'll do some Discord streams, stuff like that, um, and try to see how far I can get in the game. But final verdict. Really interesting ideas. Really cool idea. Uh, oh, wait. And then that doesn't even always pop up. So, uh, it, like, I've died several times. Just been like, why am I dead? And then, like, just because I didn't have food and I wasn't paying attention. Um, so, uh, really interesting ideas. Cool thing. Not the best execution and everything. Uh, there's some stuff that, that probably needs some polish. Uh, and I hope the dev plans on, on doing some, some, uh, patches to kind of polish and, and fix some things. Um, uh, and, and I hope, I hope some stuff gets, gets kind of made better. Uh, but we will see, uh, and I will hold reserve judgment until, uh, I get further into the game. But as of right now, I, I, I would say it's up to you, uh, whether you buy the game or not. Um, I don't, at this point, I can't recommend the game. Uh, but I don't re not recommend it if that makes sense, right? I just right now I'm just kind of I'm just kind of like, well, it's an interesting idea, and if you want to play it, go ahead. Uh, but if you're on the fence with it, I'd probably wait a little bit. Um, hopefully that will help. If stuff like this helps you, please let me know. Uh, throw me a throw me a like down on the video if you think it deserves it. Uh, comments in the bottom, uh, and then uh, you know subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, but yeah, as far as that, like I said, I'm not. I won't allow anybody to to crap on the game. Uh, the the dev has worked very hard at it, um, and just because his his uh, ideas are a little bit different than mine, doesn't make it bad. It just makes it maybe not a fit for me. Uh, so I'm fine with that, and I will uh I will take off. You guys be safe. Talk to y'all soon.